Hello, welcome to a new week of idioms to learn. Today we have five new ones and I will read it out and also give an example of each of these idioms in a sentence that they could be used in. Okay. If you have any questions, please comment them. Otherwise, I will make a start. So for the first one, a blessing in disguise. A blessing in disguise means that something good that was not expected. So an example you can use is, I did not manage to get promoted at my job, but through this experience, I learned that I need to improve in my time management and communication skills. It was a blessing in disguise. Okay, for number two, get out of hand. Get out of hand. This idiom means when something is out of control, it's outside of your control now. It escalated into something bigger than what you thought at the start. So an example you can use is, Mary planned a party for her daughter. She invited four of her closest friends, but things got out of hand when her friends invited her other friends. And then her other friends invited their other friends. And soon there were 50 people at her daughter's party. Things got out of hand. Okay, the third one is get your act together. Get your act together means to organize yourself, to take control of a situation, to compose yourself. So usually someone will tell another person to get their act together if the other person has been too messy or too disorderly. Okay, so an example is, John was angry at his son because his son had received a warning letter from his teacher for five weeks in a row that he had not done his homework. John told his son, you need to get your act together or I won't let you join me on the next holiday. Okay, next one is, it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. So this idiom means that something is not that hard. It's actually quite achievable. It's easy. Rocket science is something very, very difficult and it's not rocket science. Okay, an example is, Sam was very disappointed in himself. He could not tie his shoelaces, even though his teacher told Sam, it's not rocket science. Everyone should be able to tie their shoelaces. Okay, the last one. Go back to the drawing board. Go back to the drawing board. What this means is something may have gotten very complicated and very messy and out of control. To tell someone to go back to the drawing board means, okay, let's take a step back and let's look at the situation. Let's make things simpler and see if we can solve the problem that way. Okay. So an example can be,
John was trying to write his new book. He had spent two weeks, but had only written three pages. He was panicking. He thought that no ideas were coming out. He asked his mum for advice and his mum told him, maybe it's time that you went back to your drawing board to check if it's possible to write a story like that. Okay, so going back to the drawing board means revisiting the original plan, the original purpose. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, see you next time.